In this video, we will demonstrate how to send ISDU commands using Ethernet IP to Tigo Master 2TH. In the following example, we will use ISDU command to ball of proximity sensor, which is connected wirelessly to our Tigo Master. We will use Ellen Bradley PLC connected to Tigo Master 2TH and communicate using Ethernet IP protocol. In order to send ISDU commands in Studio 5000 environment, we will use the explicit message using message control letter element. In general, the parameters of this block are message type, SIP generic, service code 4B for reading ISDU and 4C for writing ISDU, class 83, instance, the index of port number at which the IO-Link device is operated, attribute zero, source element, the tag that contains ISDU index and sub-index, length, which will be three bytes, destination element, which will be the tag that will receive the data when using ISDU read, or the data to be sent when using ISDU write. Now let's open Logix Designer. In previous video, we already explained how to import the EDS file, add Tigo Master to the studio environment, configure the wireless ports, and send and receive the process data. First, we will import the read and write ISDU routines to the main program. We'll right click on the main program, add import routine, and select the read ISDU routine. Click OK. We'll do the same for the write ISDU routine. And click OK. If we'll open the read ISDU routine, we can see the logic in the first rung. We can see that we are storing the index and sub-index to the tag read-write buffer. In the second rung, we can see the message control. And here we can see all the parameters. 4B for reading ISDU. Instance, which is the port number. The tag, which will contain the index and sub-index. The length of the tag and the tag IO link data, which will contain the data to be received when sending the read ISDU command. The third rung is for clearing the array. In the message control, make sure that under the tab communication, you have browsed and selected the Tigo master. Now, let's go to the main routine. And we need to call now the read ISDU and write ISDU routines. We'll double click here. Type JSR, the name of the routine. We'll do the same for the write ISDU. Now we can download the application. We can go to the read ISDU routine. We will set the source to index 16 and sub index 0 for reading the vendor ID. Now we will trigger the read ISDU bit by right click 
and select toggle bit. We can go to the parameters and local tags and we can see indeed that we have read BAL of GmbH which this is the vendor ID of this device. Same can be done of course for the right ISDU by setting the index and sub-index and triggering the right ISDU. Thank you for watching this video.